I'm gonna tell you right now if it doesn't if it doesn't pick up by November if if this month if I don't do better in the views department I mean I'm just gonna have to suck it up and and you know nix the the weight loss content and go back to <laughs> go back to what pays Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Hungry Fat Chick or Candy. Um, if you're not familiar with who Candy is, Candy has been someone that has been on YouTube for quite a long time. Um, she kind of gained popularity by doing mukbangs and Candy is a, a larger woman, hence the name Hungry Fat Chick. And, you know, that was kind of her into, you know, gaining popularity. She's done a lot of videos with Nick Akato Avocado as well. Um, but recently, Candy has been, you know, trying to lose weight and kind of trying to figure out her health. And it's been really interesting um, watching it. I've, I've spoken to her a little bit on the back end as well. And I just want to say, you know, full, full transparency. I like Candy a lot. I think that she is a nice person and I want to see her succeed tremendously. Um, but she actually recently uploaded this video right here where it's titled, I'd like a little cheese with my wine, Candy Vlog 18. And in this video, she talks a little bit about her struggles with, um, no longer making mukbang videos, at least on YouTube, and how that's affected her views on YouTube. Um, it's just a very, very interesting situation that Candy's in, and I just, I, I've always really appreciated how honest Candy always seems to be in her videos, and that's one thing you'll see in this video. Um, we're gonna skip ahead about 14 minutes because most of the other stuff isn't relevant to what I wanna talk about, uh, but let's just go ahead and let Candy kinda share her story. Mercy. <laughs> Oh, and another thing I did just a little, just a little while ago, I kind of, I pulled up uh, YouTube and kind of started looking back at some of my older videos, just kind of thinking, um, you know, thinking if I should uh, react to some of my older videos and and I. So basically what's happening here is that she is, you know, the views aren't the best. And so she was kind of looking through her videos, going through it. This is something that a lot of content creators do. You go through the other videos that maybe have done well in the past and you think to yourself, what are the things that were working and can I continue to do those things, right? So that's kind of what she was doing. I pulled up my very first mukbang, okay? Um, not that the, there were three videos before I did my very first mukbang. Uh, they were kind of like react, not not reaction, but uh, like I don't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. I was doing something like food reviews. I thought I was gonna do. Uh, I was gonna. It was gonna be an excuse for me to try different foods and things. So um, maybe even I mean things that people accused me or had been accusing me of uh, with this whole. The whole thing is like trying to get feeders to give me money or, you know, buy me food and things. Um, I think it started out like that. It actually did. Um, I had another YouTube name picked out that I didn't, I wasn't able to, to get or whatever. And it was Feed a Fatty. <laughs> Feed a Fatty. <laughs> but uh, I was going to make a whole website, okay? And the website was the first thing. So I actually own HungryFatChick.com. So that's what the, the YouTube became was Hungry Fat Chick because Feed a Fatty was taken. You know, I've got the CandyGodiva.com and HungryFatChick.com. And they just redirect. Hungry Fat Chick just redirects to the YouTube. And um, Candy Godiva goes to my, my, my lonely hands. <laughs> website as a uh, kidney J. Hi, kidney J. <laughs> I watch your reactions. Yes, I do. Um, I, I've been watching all kinds of reactions lately, kind of just watching how it's done and getting ideas and things. And I don't necessarily want to become a reaction channel. You know, if I react to anything, it's going to be myself because, you know, uh, copyright, <laughs> I'd be afraid. <laughs> you know, it's like just, you know, and it's just one more thing that nobody's going to want to watch. So, I keep trying, or trying to figure out new things. Over the years, I tried different types of content, you know, like unboxing, try-ons, oh, uh, shoot, a couple other, uh, makeup, uh. This is one of the things that's, like, hardest about being, like, a content creator is that 
there's like this, you're very thankful for the audience that you have and the people that do watch your videos, but it is true. Like most people, there's always outliers, but most people, if you try and change the content, even if it's a small change, people either won't watch or they'll get upset. But then if you do like a big, huge change, people just aren't going to watch. Like I recently went through this, which I wasn't surprised, but I did a, like a, a, a video of me doing my first rugby workout with a professional rugby team. Right. And that video has, I think less than 5,000 views, <laughs> you know? And it's just like, most of my videos get a lot more than that. And it just is what it is. Like, I'm not like, obviously do I hope that it gets more views? Yeah, of course. I'd love for that video to get more views. Am I surprised? Not at all. Right. And it can be frustrating, but just kind of like you, you get a little bummed out when you're a content creator and like a video that maybe you, you hoped would do well, just doesn't. I think that's pretty normal. Nobody wants to watch me do anything but put food in my mouth. Yeah. I mean, it's a shame. Like my last two videos that I've put up, uh, don't even have 20,000 views. So I don't know. Let me, I'm, I'm about to pull it. I'm, about to, I'm just, I'm just, gonna, yep. Oh, hell. <laughs> six days ago, uh, vlog number 16, 12,000 views. Um, number 17, 11,000 views. Um, oh, for heaven's sakes. Let's see, how long ago has it been since I've had decent views? Um, shoot, I just need to open up video. The last decent ones was when I was having trouble on my diet. Better days ahead, vlog 09. Disappointing way in. <laughs> Those got 50,000 and 40,000, but they were two months ago. <laughs> so they've had but I mean, that is, that is the case with YouTube. Like if you post a video about like a, with the sad title, the chances of that video doing well versus like a happy one, it's sad, but it's true. Like the, the sad title video is going to do better most of the time. Time to like generate a little bit of oof. Uh, <laughs> KFC, 76,000 views. Uh, let's see. Taco Bell, 69,000. Oh my God. The candy Vlogs 002, I'm not okay. Has 132,000 views. So, so when I'm down in the dumps and I'm feeling like crap, that's when I need to get on the camera, y'all. <laughs> like, I feel like crap today. I'm not doing good. I'm that's just like, it's sad, but it's just true, right? So basically what she is explaining here is that she feels a little bit like, I think the, the term is like golden handcuffs, right? Where she has something that she knows could, you know, get more views in turn, make more money for her, right? And that's the mukbangs. Obviously like the sad videos as well, but like if you're not feeling terrible, you don't, like, I think most people aren't going to want to lie about having a bad day, right? But she knows that if she did mukbangs of unhealthy food, because she's done healthy mukbangs, those videos would do better, right? Like she knows for a fact that that's the case for her, but she's been like, she doesn't want to do that. She doesn't want to eat on camera all the time on YouTube at least, right? She ha she does it on, on like paid sites or whatever, but like she doesn't want all of her content to be her eating Taco Bell, her eating McDonald's. Like that's not what she wants to do. But also, she knows that if she did it, she'd be able to pay her bills. She would be able. To, she wouldn't have as many stresses about money. That's a very hard position to be in, and if you're if if you're not in that position, I, I can understand that you might be like, well, whatever. Like, it's not that big of a deal. But when this is your job, and say you maybe don't have any other prospects, and you feel like I don't really know what else I would do, I can understand being scared and frustrated, and feeling like. I almost have to do this type of content because anything else I do just doesn't work, right? You know, it's, the last two days I've been sitting in there in the living room and I'm watching freaking um, Adventure Time and I'm sitting there crying and blubbering like, like why, am I, why am I crying? Why? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Mm. I don't know. So, yeah. And I really wasn't okay. That, that was just, just before I started, like, trying to, to figure out what I need to do to change. 
I mean, I'd already been trying to, to get a few different things like taco salad and tropical smoothies. That's when I started the whole, the vlog series. Mm, BK, 67,000. More KFC, 59,000, 69,000, 65,000, 44,000, 70,000, 51,000. Yeah, so I was getting a lot, uh, you know, I was getting better views with the fast food type stuff, but oh, for heaven's sakes. Uh, I really don't want to go back to it. And I mean, I'm already, I'm already shooting, eating content and putting it up on adult sites and in the members area. And I'm This is why I always tell people to be careful about, like, obviously it's, it's a little bit different, but I always tell people to be careful about making like weight loss content videos, right? If you end up getting a following based on weight loss, that's what people are going to want to see. And it's something that I've seen a lot of people deal with. Either they have, you know, they're struggling with their weight loss. So then their audience is either just not watching or they're upset with them, or maybe they did lose the weight. And then now that they have lost the weight and kept it off, like, what do you do from there? Right. That was something that I struggled with. And that's why I kind of transitioned into more commentary type videos because I'm not losing weight anymore. Like I've, I've been maintaining for a long time. And so you have to kind of always evolve. And that's one of the hardest parts about YouTube. Like I'm not trying to become some YouTube like guru. I'm not that it's clear that I'm not that, but that's, it, it's just part of the game, which is really sad. And then it just adds another layer of like weirdness when the content that you were making was actively like, if you want to say hurting you, but it's just, you know, that if you continue to make that content, it's just not in your best interest. It can even just be mentally, right? There's a lot of content creators that stopped making the content they were making. It didn't physically harm them, but mentally it wasn't good for them, but they know if they leave doing that content, the content that they make is not going to do as well. Therefore they're not going to be making as much money. They won't be able to get sponsors, yada, 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 right? It's all connected, right? But it's just Candy's in a situation where the content was, it seems, mentally hurting her, but as also was physically hurting her. And it's really hard to step away from that because when you know that the content you put out, regardless, if it's not that eating content, it's just not going to do as well. And you're putting in the the amount of the same amount of effort, if not more, on these videos that you know are going to do less. It's it's hard to do that time and time again and look at the views just go down, 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 right? And I guess I'm just being stubborn. You know, uh, but I'm like, dang it, there's going to come a time when I'm going to have to just suck it up and, and just go back to doing what's easy because I don't think it's being stubborn. I think it's just, I think that that's like you, you, it seems like she understands that that's not long term what she wants to be doing. Right. But it's hard to, to take that hit. It just is. I'm not getting views. I'm not getting paid one day at a time. And, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, if it doesn't, if it doesn't pick up by November, if, if this month, if I don't do better in the views department, I mean, I'm just gonna have to suck it up and, and, you know, nix the, the weight loss content and go back to, <laughs> go back to what pays. Mm. Mm. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Ugh. It's it, it really is a bummer to see that. Um, it's one of those things that it's it's just the the fact of the matter is like when you've built an audience that's based on one thing, regardless of how much because there's been a lot of people that will leave comments that like I'd I'd watch these videos if you were losing weight and I think one of the top comments is. Um, I said I'd watch your videos if you decided to not mukbang, so here I am sticking to my word. But like, it's clear if you if you just look at the metrics, most people that probably said that aren't watching the videos. It just is what it is. Like, it's not a great truth, <laughs> but it is the truth. Like, most people aren't watching, and that's just the fact of the matter. And that's really, really tough. Like, when you've built your audience on one thing, it is very, very, very difficult to make that audience switch. I think, um, one person I talk about Amberlynn Reed, right? I've, I've always said that I think people would stick around and watch. And I, th I think that these are all, these are different kind of, um, 
these are different cases because Amberlynn, like her whole channel when she started was about losing weight. Like if you, I'm sure a lot of you have seen that clip where her, her first video was her saying that she wanted to share her weight loss journey, right? And so a lot of the people that she initially attracted were people that were interested in seeing someone lose weight. But with Candy, it's different because a lot of the people that watched and were initially attracted to the videos had no, they didn't care about that at all, right? They just wanted to see someone eat. And I think, I don't even think, I wouldn't even say that everyone that watches Candy's videos is like some sort of feeder or anything like that. I don't think that's true. I think there's a lot of people that just like watching mukbangs and it just so happens that Candy's overweight. But I don't think the, the majority of those people that are watching the videos are only there because of Candy being, you know, larger. It's, it's just a lot of people like mukbangs, they watch whoever's doing them. It's a tough situation, it really, really is. But it's my life, you know. And I could still do healthier-esque stuff. You know, maybe do a fast food blowout once or twice a month, but any other time I do it, I could just eat something I cook for myself. That's definitely an option. It's just tough, right? Like when you are um, like, you know, a food addict, it's really hard to just allow yourself to have, you know, that quote unquote unhealthy fast food once or twice a month and then not have it for the rest of the week or like just not just be able to have it that one time and then not have any more cravings like that. It just, it makes losing weight, which is already incredibly difficult, even harder because you're adding another like almost like speed bump in the road, right? Uh Uh, I mean, I'm thankful for the people who are watching. I really am. But, you know, I've got, I've got 274,000 subscribers and I'm getting 11,000 views, you know, uh, Oh, if I had a humongous Taco Bell feast, I'd I'd get eleven thousand views in a day or less than a day. You know. So yeah, it's really it's really tough to see that. There's there's more to the video, but it's basically kind of the same stuff. I I feel for Candy. I I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and say I have an answer. I I hope I genuinely hope that Candy, if you watch this, that you stick to the weight loss and like really try and you know focus on that and and, and be, be able to do that because you know you know i think that you want it and i know that a lot of people that watch you also want that for you but the sad truth is they might not be interested in watching the videos that are attached to it like i it's it's a bummer to say that but it's just the truth um I, I want to see you succeed. I don't have an answer. I, I mean, if you're someone that's watching this video and you feel like you might have an answer, please leave a comment. You know, if you feel like you can help, leave a comment. But I just felt like this was a very, very interesting situation. It's something that I've talked a lot about. You have to be very careful about what ends up working for you because a lot of times you will be kind of stuck doing that thing. And if it's something you don't enjoy doing, this is what ends up happening. And it really is a bummer. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Again, if you have a comment, leave it down there. I'll see you next time. Peace.